attempt number two at the replication of Shadowburn 3D's CO2 Gons Jelly. And um, the first batch actually turned out fairly nice. Uh, but I let it go too long and it produced more zinc oxide in the last uh, part of the period that I had it running. So I'm going to cut it shorter this time, maybe run five to six hours. We're just getting going. And um, all of the ingredients to replicate what I'm doing appear below the video in uh, Show More. So you can see we have, we're at 0.08 uh, amps. And it actually, if you put the meter on it, it's 0.09. The meter is a little more accurate than the power supply. And I want to hold it at 0.09. So it's running 1.5 volts right now. So um, that means we were at about 1.1 when we started out last time. I am reusing the salt water from the first batch after the gons was removed from it. Uh, I had to top it up a little bit. Uh, with about another 250 milliliters. And, but I did not filter the, the salt water that I had originally taken off the top of the gons that was produced. So it had a little bit of milkiness in it. And that's probably increasing its resistance a little bit, is my guess, and that's why we have a greater voltage potential. So, we'll, um, you can see this the couple of boards here that are uh, spaced out. The um, distance between the electrodes is about two and a half, two and three quarter inches. And um, I can actually take and just lift this whole assembly up and out the way I have it. And you can see as soon as the electrodes are out of the solution, you can see the little diode come on there. Um, there's not enough juice going through the diode while the electrodes are in the salt solution to produce visible light to the human eye, although it is producing photons because there's a small trickle of current going through it. And um, you can see there's some bubbles coming up off of the uh, carbon electrode there which is hooked up the minus side to the power supply and the zinc electrode is hooked up to the positive side. The <clears throat> uh, zinc is just, I don't uh, have access, easy access or economical access to zinc rod here in the UK. I haven't found it yet. So that is uh, uh, 0.2 millimeter, 99.9% .9 zinc sheet that's rolled around about a, a, a 3 16 inch stainless steel rod just to form kind of a um, circular electrode. And um, okay, that's it. We'll touch bases with this here in another couple of hours. Okay, I'm checking back in here with our Gons gel production cell hmm, about an hour into it. I was going to wait a couple, but I came down here and looked. And you can see that already after one hour, this time we've got a pretty nice layer of uh, CO2 gons forming down here. Um, the only thing that's different is that we reused the salt water. There was a little bit additional new added. Um, and our voltage is a little bit higher, just a few tenths of a volt. But that could be because uh, the original Gons production depleted the salt to some degree in the water, um, which will reduce its conductivity and up the voltage potential. So it might be that uh, reducing the salt a little bit might help this process on the next, uh, the next run. We might give that a try. Okay, it's been a little over two hours now, and um, this is looking very nice actually. I'm getting some nice guns. It looks very gel like in there. I can see over on the side of the container over here, there's some um, little, mm, you can see them there. Yeah, kind of like little cells of guns. That's not air bubbles. That's, um, yeah, very nice. So we'll keep checking on it. Let's see if I can get in closer here. Doesn't focus very well. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of darker.
looks darker the gods but I think it's just from the shadows actually I don't actually could be could be some of the carbon from the carbon electrode uh, on this side so um, but you can see the um, electrodes in the water and um, it's looking good okay we're checking in here it's going on uh, about five hours and um, it's looking very nice and this over here this darker spot this is actually it's not really dark you can see this is, it's just a shadow when I'm lighting from the other side um, it's quite light there's no darkness from the carbon or anything so that's very nice um, we've got bubbles up here just right on the top there's really not there's a little bit of um, floating gons gel cells there not too much most of it's down lower you can see it here and you can actually see over here on that far side off the, the zinc anode you can see how it's draping down like a kind of like a stalactite <laughs> coming off that going down to the bottom this kind of drifting down it's really pretty cool looking it's very ethereal there you see that that's over there on the zinc so if I just tap this it, 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 it releases usually well, anyway you can see with the light there how we've got these um, kind of gons gel cells forming on the side it's very it's very nice actually and um, you can see down below they're kind of there is a bit floating up on the top there around the the uh, carbon uh, electrode it's not a lot it's not huge accumulations but this is very nice and gel like it hasn't begun trying to turn into the zinc oxide yet um, so <clears throat> I think probably in about an hour we're going to turn it off and harvest before we get any zinc, major zinc oxide forming in there. I'm really happy with what's happening there. And we can see also the, um, it's interesting, the voltage potential has dropped some. So, um, not sure how to explain that at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> so, but that's right about where it was last time on the last batch, so I'm happy with that. Okay, we're going to um, turn this GONS production cell off and harvest this GONS. It's been about six hours. That's a pretty nice looking little bit of CO2 GONS gel. You can see there's some nice little gel cells floating around there. And I'm drifting down from the zinc electrode and forming a nice little layer there. So that's it. It looks pretty good. We're finishing up there. We're at 0.08 and 1.3 volts. Uh, again, that's actually 0.09 amps on the meter. I've adjusted it because the meter is more accurate than the display on the power supply. So you can get the all the uh, ingredients that were used in this, um, other particular bits of information below the video under show more. Here's a comparison of the first batch of CO2 GONS gel and the second batch that we just produced. The one on the left is from the first batch, the one on the right is from this batch we just produced. You can see that the one on the right is more translucent, it's a little bit wider, allows more light through. Um, and I also shook these both up so that they were totally agitated and I'm allowing them to settle uh, over time in these photos. You can see they're going down. The one on the right is going down faster. So uh, again, you can see how much more translucent and gel-like it is. And the I weighed these. The one on the left actually weighs two grams more. And I did top the water in the one up on the right so that it was 
w uh, at the same exact level as the one on the left. There may be some small variances in the jars, but they are exactly the same kind of jars. So I don't think that would be very much. It's two grams difference on the left. That would be the zinc oxide that the extra 10 hours at production cell ran had produced. Okay, that's it. You can check out Show More below the video for everything you'll need to replicate this if you'd like to.